So today I'm going to give you a blowout on natural hair. So as you can see, my hair is really short. It's been shampooed with Aveda Nutriplenish. And I'm gonna get started. And I'm gonna start out with the Aveda Nutriplenish leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna spray it in my hair very liberally. And I'm gonna make sure I get it all over. And I'm gonna rub that in. This is the Veda Nutriplenish. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's designed for all hair types and it's very hydrating. Next, I'm gonna use the Smooth Infusion. This is like my all-time favorite. It helps to defend your hair against humidity. And I'm gonna spray that evenly. And I use one pump. One pump is all you need. I'm gonna begin blow drying my hair. And I'm gonna use my Dyson the Home Edition. So before I begin, one of the things that I'm gonna share with you is I'm gonna be using a series of movements. My head is gonna be tilted to the right, going in this direction. It's gonna be straight going this position. It's gonna go sideways this direction. And I'm gonna do the repeat on this side. So this is what the movement looks like. So what are you doing? You're gonna follow the brush. Follow the brush. Follow the brush. The reason you wanna follow the brush is because the brush provides the tension and the hair dryer provides the heat. So together it acts as a conduit and you're blow drying the hair and you're smoothing the hair out. And if you notice, I'm going very slow. And I'm working on one section at a time. And I'm gonna pull that hair down. And as you can see, the hair is getting really smooth. I'm working on one section at a time. And again, that hair is pretty smooth. And the reason I'm pulling the hair down is because I don't wanna to put too much heat on my hair. So my hair is not as straight as I want it to be. And as you can see, it's a little dehydrated, but I want the hair to get a little bit smoother. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my hair. This is the Nutriplenish. It's a multi-purpose oil and it's for all hair types. I'm just going to use maybe one or two drops. I'm going to emulsify it in my hands and I'm just going to put it everywhere. The last thing I'm gonna use is the dry remedy oil. This is an option. I wanna be able to, I want my hair to be hydrated. So I'm just gonna put maybe one or two drops in my hair. Again, I'm gonna emulsify and I'm working at the root. And then I'm gonna put it on the ends. So now what we're gonna do Again, as I showed you before, I'm gonna show you the different movements that I'm using, just so you can get a better clarity and better understanding what I did. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to blow dry this way. And if you notice, I move really, really slow. This is the direction that I'm going in. And the reason I use move slow is because I want the heat to penetrate. And then one of the things that I like about this blow dryer is that the heat does not penetrate to burn the hair. It helps with the positive and negative ions to dry the hair, smooth the hair from the inside out all at the same time. 
So the technology behind this dryer is very unique. So it will not cause heat damage. The products that I use also help with that. So here's the motion. Now that I have the hair smooth, I'm gonna brush some of that hair down. I'm gonna go back and repeat the same thing. Brush the hair down. I'm gonna go back and repeat the same thing. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do that same technique on the opposite side. Right? Enter, so this hair at this point will be down to here. You're gonna be working in quadrants. Now what you're gonna do is work this hair this way, pull that hair down, or you're gonna work this hair this way, bringing it forward. And then you're gonna push back that hair, go forward, push back this hair, you're gonna go forward. You, this hair is gonna go back and you're gonna go forward. Now, if you want, you can split it down the middle, go this direction, bring that hair out the way. And the reason that you wanna move the hair out the way because you wanna make sure that hair gets smooth. So here we go. Now that the hair is smooth, you want to begin to style. So I decided I'm going to trim my ends. So what I'm going to do is section my hair in quadrants. And I'm gonna section the hair on the parietal ridge. So just before that, it changes its shape. I'm gonna pull it out. So I just trimmed my hair. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there and I'm going to flat iron. So here's my flat iron. I'm gonna turn it up, turn the heat up. Put a little bit of oil in my hair. Hey guys, sectioning in quadrants based on my parietal ridge and my center, almost like the faux hawk. I'm taking very small subsections 
as you can see. It's important to be able to have clean sections. I'm gonna take the heat. And again, I'm gonna move really slow. And I like moving slow because I wanna get the hair really smooth and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and section the hair. You wanna be able to section the hair with what you can grip and where you won't leave any dents in the hair. So the subsection should be really small, the size of the flat iron that you're working with. The reason I'm starting from top versus the bottom up because it's just easier for me to control. And I just move that curl out the way. And if you notice, I just do one pass. You don't want to put a lot of heat in the hair. Um, and one pass is sufficient to get it straight if you gave yourself a good blowout. I'm going to pull this hair out and straighten it. Very soft. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So as you can see, I'm almost done with the top. Just wanted to just continue to share with you the best way to smooth the hair. Again, just so you know, at the top, I'm gonna to go straight up because I don't want a lot of curl and just come straight out. And that's just gonna fall right into place and that the hair is going. So I'm holding the hair straight up. This is gonna give me volume and I'm just gonna let that hair fall. And you can see what's happening. So in the direction that it's going, I'm bringing this hair forward. Again, sectioning the hair very small sections, subsections. I like to keep my comb in the hand because I like to work fast. So I'm gonna work on the back, starting here. This hair is going to go straight up, but the difference is it's going to go back. You got to kind of feel it. Make sure your subsections are still thin and narrow. And I'm going straight up because I don't want a lot of curl and I want it to be flat. So I'm going to move that curl out the way. So my hand is on the part and then my comb is underneath. So that way I can feel the density in the subsections that I'm taking. So, it's all done. We done curled my hair. Now I get to play in it. Run my fingers. And make it messy. So I'm going to add a few little wispy pieces just around my hairline just to make it a little bit more playful and fun. So what do you think of Control Force? Yeah. Thank you for joining my video. Look forward to future videos. Coming back soon. Bye-bye.